Hey guys, in this video, we are looking at the queuing system for Video Ninja. So this allows you to create a call-in room that you can use for pre-screening guests. So to get started, we can just create a room. So we can call it pre-screen room one, two, three. Then we enter the room. Now to enable the queuing mode, we have to type into the end of our URL, Q-U-E-U-E. -U -U -E. So ampersand Q. And we can see that the room has changed a little bit. The group scene section has been disabled. We have a new button down here that looks like a bunch of stacked books. And the invite guest link has a Q uh, tag added to the end of it as well. So we can just copy that link though. And let's paste it in. So now we can join the room as a guest and there we go now you'll notice that the q button down here has a one next to it but the guest did not yet appear in the room if we enable the director uh, with a camera we can see that the guest doesn't actually yet see the director they just see themselves still. And, uh, well, let's see what happens if we bring in someone else. I'll, I'll do a screen share this time. And bring ourselves in. Again, they don't see the director. And they also don't see the other guest. And they also don't appear in the director's room. But what we do have is a two. So, so far, no one can see anyone else in this room. But as a director, if I press this little button, the first user who joined the room appears in the director's room, and the director is now visible to that person. So you can have a conversation with them. If I press the button again, the next person joins. And you'll see that they do not see anyone else who's in the room except for the director. So the director can talk to everyone in the room. And by using solo talk, I can talk to specific guests only. So I can ask them a certain question about something and the other guests in the room will not hear that conversation. Now, this guest, I'm gonna be like, well, uh, I don't want them. They, their video quality is too bad, so I can hang up and they get kicked out. They can always refresh to join the room again, but they've been kicked out for now. Uh, for this guest, the reason the, the scene is disabled, and if we look at the solo links, for example, we'll see that nothing appears. And that is uh, only the director can see a guest who's in queue. That's a security and privacy feature. To get around that though, we can create a new room. Let's call it back room one, two, three. And we can transfer the guest from our pre-screen room to the back room. Now the guest will see everyone in this room like normal. So this room behaves just like any other room. There's no more queuing functionality. And once the guest has been moved, they're no longer really in any sort of queuing function. That has been disabled. And once you're done with this user, you can kick them out. This user has no idea which room they've been transferred to, so they can't get back into it. All they know is they've been transferred. There's no way for them to get back into it. If they reload the page and they rejoin the room, they end up back in queue. They don't end up back in the back room. So this is an elegant way of keeping a back room protected, only letting guests in that you want in. And the advantage of using the queuing function in particular is you can have hundreds of guests connect to a room and you have a chance as a director of going through them one at a time without being uh, overwhelmed with video connections. So you can just 
go through them one at a time or, or a few at a time and filter them that way. So that's the call-in function, the, the queuing function within Video Ninja. I am always open to feedback and ideas on how to improve it. So please hit me up on Discord if you have questions. Bye. Thank you, guys.